All right, guys, welcome back to Mesopotamia. Say what? Oh, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm coming through this. You can see now we're on day 31. It's a month into this game, and a lot has gone down, but not really much, to be honest. That's why I haven't really uh, shared much from this game. The game plan is the same as ever, just expanding outwards, capturing the first oil field, uh, expanding outwards, capturing the second oil field locally here. And what has gone wrong recently was this son of a bitch. They go AI, and then the AI attacks you. And by this point in the game, my popularity is very low, 27%. So I'm just expecting anyone to attack me at any time. So I'm keeping my borders pretty tight here. I'm doing my best to protect my oil field, but I still have a skeleton crew here. I'll tell you what, this is something different from what I normally do. Uh, I normally go after Baghdad, but I have a uh, ally here who has been pretty true, true blue. And he went straight for the oil field. And I said, you know what? Okay, for Baghdad. So I really, I'm pulling for him. I really hope he gets this. Uh, he does have a couple rail guns. He's waiting for a railway to develop here. Still a ways off. Uh, yeah, almost two days out uh, before he can bring those to bear on the oil field. But that is developing. And I like that because when he attacks in to the core, he's going to really be able to use that. Look at the throw on this, man. These things throw so good. And when he's here, he's going to throw into probably two of these, maybe three, probably three of these. So that'll be really advantageous for him. And he's continuing to stream stuff in as well. He's got some planes coming in. So he's doing everything right. Um, he's got a lot here. And man, Baghdad is a beast. So I, I feel like he's going to win this. I feel like he's going to do this. Uh, but maybe one thing he needs to do is run up these big stacks. Uh, oh, yeah, because 17th, who is this, 26th? Yeah, he's, he's losing out. Um, he had 10 artillery here. Now he has 8. And I'm not sure what's sniping him. Maybe there are some rail guns. No, there can't be because there's no railways on any of these. Um, I think he's going to take it, though. And he's continuing to stream stuff out here as well. So uh, if you heard that bleep, 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 that's my wife, which means I need to go tuck her in. Yes, I tuck my wife in every night. <laughs> Judge if you must. I love I love that sweet woman. All right. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of catch you up here. I'm continuing to capture around here. Got a lot of material. Uh, I'm going to easily be able to take all this material what I am super concerned about is this guy turned on me here and it was, he turned on me as I was moving material through his land. So um, I had the potential for losing four fighters, but it looks like I'm going to be able to rescue them by coming in here and attacking <laughs> into here and extracting those fighters back out of there. I really don't want to lose those four fighters. And then when I attacked into here, I saw this, this had two bombers. So, you know, this enemy, before he went AI, <laughs> he built a bunch of crap with which to torture me. Thank you, friend. And really, I've been sending all my stuff onto the island here, and I've been sending some stuff over here to capture the rest of this. So I'm really having to adjust here and bring stuff back so that I can take this guy out. In the end, once I own all of this, I'll be glad um, because I did have a gap in my airfields because this guy didn't build any air. So that's why these fucking fighters were on trucks, you know, driving across country here because I didn't have oil uh, airfields through here. So once I finish this up, I'm going to try to back him down to maybe these two territories and I'll set guards here and here and maybe even eventually try to have, it's nice to have a rail gun or two uh, that can throw long here and just defend against the unending war. That's what I hate about this version of the game. Unending war. You can never attack in and capture these final home eight. Therefore, you are at war forever. So, you know, look at this big country I have to defeat. That's what I'm facing now. Anyway, I wanted to catch you up on what's going on. Everything else is going pretty well. I've industrialized this home oil field pretty well. Um, I think I have two of these that are building a level four uh, factories. And then this one here, I still have to build a, yeah, still have to build a railway. So I'm finishing up the industrialization 
uh, of this second oil field. And pretty soon I'm going to round all this out and attack into this third oil field. And that's when I feel like I'm, my production is really going to get hardcore and solid. So thanks for checking in. I got to go tuck my wife in. So I'll see you guys later. Adios, amis amigos.